Yeah, so uh, if, for those who weren't aware, I did a podcast with Elliot sort of oh, maybe two-thirds of the way through last season. I think uh, it was after Sol Campbell had joined in uh, Macclesfield and we were looking at the chances of uh, the Silkman staying up. Gladly, Elliot, you'd, you'd be pleased to say that you guys did. And um, I don't think I need to be modest on your behalf when I say that you played a massive part in that. How, how did it feel to get those results over the line? I mean, the one at Port Vale obviously was huge in the end. Yeah, I think, you know, I think that was, um, you know, that was really when it sort of swung it back into our, in, you know, into our hands, if you like. Um, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd put in some good performances um, prior to that game without really getting getting what we deserved, probably, you know, out of the games. But, um, you know, we went to went to Port Vale away and there was, a, there, was, you know, there was a lot of things sort of riding that game in terms of um, ex-managers, you know, a lot of, a, a lot, well, a lot of us, I say a lot of us, a few of us had sort of played for the for that for that manager who was who was managing Port Vale at the time. So it was um it was a bit of a strange affair really. But um but yeah, you know, we went there full of confidence and it was it, it probably wasn't one of the best games of football to watch. Um, you know, it was wet, it was windy. Um but you know, we came away with uh, with with what what turned out to be a massive three points and um and, and yeah, like I say, that sort of sets on the way to uh to to getting what you know, I believe that we we would do um, from from you know uh, a long way away. Yeah, yeah. So season. you spoke to me. You were quite confident when you spoke to me that you'd you'd get over the line, you'd stay up, and it turned out in the end to, to be the case. And we were, you know, it was a great escape. Obviously, Sol Campbell because of his profile got huge accolades for that. Um, but there's no denying that you coming back from injury made a massive difference as well. Because anyone who had watched Macclesfield um, in those sort of first first sort of third of the season I'd noticed that there was a lot of huff and puff but perhaps not enough creativity you jump back into the team and immediately set about changing that fact uh the fact that you created more chances per 90 minutes for the Silkman than any other player in that team um, is a testament to to what you brought to the side did you personally feel I mean you'd been out injured did it take you a while to get back in or did you find it easy how, how is that coming back from an injury um, yeah, I mean, generally it can be quite tough, um, you know, c- coming back from an injury, um, you know, especially when you're, you're sort of in, in, in uncharted territories in terms of that was the first time that I played at that level. Um, but, you know, I, I, it was as, it, it was as if I'd never been away, really. You know, I, I managed to fit into the team seamlessly and, you know, I think it was, I was welcomed back you know, into the team with open arm from the lads and, you know, it sort of gave the whole, you know, the whole club a boost, if you like, um, you know, not, not, not just the playing squad, but, you know, I think that the coaching staff, um, you know, it gave them a, a sort of new lease of life and, um, you know, the fans obviously, because they'd seen what I'd done the, the, the previous season, you know, they were all, they were all grateful to have me back. And, um, and like I said, it just, it, it sort of all coincided well in terms of the time, you know, we picked a, picked up a, a few good results and then um, you know I think that was around the time that um, obviously Sol Campbell got the job and like I say I think you know we went on a good a good run of results which which was uh, which was became like I say at just the right time. Well, he was obviously delighted with your return and your effort did he give you any particular praise any particular instructions when you came in were you allowed to play with a bit more freedom what, what was it that he asked you to do as a, as a player? Um, so initially, you know, when he when he came in, um, I was I was used more as a winger. Um, so the first sort of five or six games I played under under Saul Campbell, I was I was on the right wing, um, and it was just about getting crosses in and you know making sure that my delivery was was right. You know, he said to me, if you if you put the sort of crosses in that you can you can do, he said we've got the players that you know, in that box that will score the goals. And, and, you know, ultimately that was, that was the case. You know, we had Harry, Harry Smith, who was on the end of a few of them. Um, you know, it, he was, he was, he was real good in the air. Um, and I knew that if I put the ball in an area, you know, I knew that, uh, Harry was going to be there or thereabouts. Um, and then towards the sort of last, I think it was sort of the last 10, 10 or 11 games, he, um, he moved me to just off a striker. So it was, Generally, I played just off Harry Smith, which, you know, that's a sort of role that I prefer to play, um, which, you know, ultimately gives you that little bit more freedom. Um, you know, and I really thrived on that. I think I got quite a few assists and I actually 
Um, you know, I got quite a few, I nicked a few goals as well, um, which which is obviously part of my game. That's you know that I've I've I've, I've done quite frequently. You know, I, not only do I like to create chances, but I like to score goals as well. So um, so yeah, so for him to move me in into that number ten role, it was uh, it was quite refreshing having played uh, you know a big part on the wing. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was a great end of the season, um, and you know, fantastic for the fans who probably felt at one stage that it was literally it was all over. I mean, you hadn't done hadn't done well under Mark Yates. The team looked like it was certain to go straight back down. But yeah, it was a it was a wonderful turnaround.